the positive, a stepping stone, right? A massive stepping stone. The Wheel of Fortune says, now that you understand this, now that you've come to terms with this, now that you've tempered yourself in trying to create something that obviously can't be created, it's not in your best interest. And if you force it, it's out of the ego. And if you do anything out of the ego, it ultimately is a tower moment anyway. So why not just accept that this is not your destiny, this is not your future, because the Wheel of Fortune says, now that you do understand this, there is a turning point in your life. And spirit can begin to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. Hey kids, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Woohoo! We are going to throw down some cards for Taurus today. I am a Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, Pisces Venus, but a Taurus sun. So I look forward to these readings just as much as y'all do. So come on in. Come on up to the table right here and let's see what the universe has to say for the collective of Taurus. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in, join the tribe. If you're coming back, Thanks. Good to see you again. And let's see what the cards have to say for Taurus. Yeah, let's do it. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'm going to pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. Five plus one is six. Six is the number of communication. And that's what I'm after, right? I'm after communication from the powers that be to whomever might need to hear whatever it is that these cards say. Come on in. Snuggle up. Get you a blanket, get you a pillow, cast it up on the big screen if you want to. Put your feet up, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. And let's dive in to see what the cards say for Taurus. It's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I will lay out at least 15 cards. Um, we will talk about it as I clarify it. If that process gets too lengthy or in-depth, I will fast forward that portion of the video and we will pick up right where we left off, okay? So let's dive into this. So give me just a second to channel, follow along with me in my prayer, and we'll see what the cards have to say. All right. Spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Taurus with me. What does Taurus need to know, Spirit? What does Taurus need to know? What's coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to look out for? What does Taurus need to look forward to? And most importantly, how does Taurus navigate the coming situations and circumstances of their life for their best and highest good? Spirit, Please use me as a clean and clear vessel to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring towards the information that they need to know and understand about themselves, their life, and their future spirit. What does Taurus need to know? Please tell me where the stopping point is. I will cut three times and I will pull straight from the top spirit. What is it that Taurus needs to know and understand? Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear what it is these cards right there are going to say. All right, let's cut them three times. Can you all see that up there? All right, let's go. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands, some kind of burden or struggle, possibly the end to a burden and a struggle. First card out, ouch, ouch, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. First card out sets the tone for the reading. Ace of Pentacles in reverse is about loss of some kind of prosperity or an inability to manifest some kind of prosperity. The Alchemist in reverse, an inability to manifest your potential, possibly. The Chariot in reverse, a blockage. The Four of Pentacles in reverse, greed, debt, materialism, self-protection. The Three of Wands, having some foresight into the future. The Prince of Cups, pulling your shit together. Death and ending a change, a transformation. Seven of Pentacles in the center of the reading, reflecting and assessing on perhaps why things aren't working in your life. The Ace of Swords, coming to some absolute clarity. The Devil in reverse, detaching from some, to some kind of toxicity, releasing some kind of limiting belief. The Lovers, 
talking about a significant relationship, the Four of Swords in Reverse, a lack of progress, and the Wheel of Fortune, a turning point. The Empress, we'll see what that's about. Woo, to the world. Look at that. The Wheel, the Empress, and the world. Fantastic. Side note, okay? These are off to the side. Ten of Pentacles in Reverse, an inability to manifest. The Prince of Swords, possibly some kind of communication or a decision that you're making. King of Cups in Reverse, emotional volatility. The Nine of Pentacles, independent, self-sufficient. The Four of Wands in Reverse, a lack of contentment or peace. Justice in Reverse, possibly a lack of accountability for your journey. The Ace of Wands in Reverse, can't, can't find the fire. The Princess of Cups in Reverse, um... An inability to emotionally create. Seven of Cups, options, choices, decisions. The Six of Wands, victory, progress, success, strength in reverse after you find something about yourself. The Princess of Swords to the Four of Cups to the Moon to the Princess of Wands in reverse to the King of Swords. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse to the Nine of Swords. The Fool in reverse to the Prince of Wands, the Prince of Pentacles in reverse, to Judgment, and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Let's see. Yep, the High Priestess, the Queen of Cups, the Three of Swords in reverse, the Tower in reverse, to the Princess of Pentacles, and the Sun. Let's see. We'll take those as well. This might be a lot of repeating here. But we're going to take them anyway. Ooh, and the star. We can't not take that. All right, we're stopping with the star. Damn it, we're stopping with the star. All right, a few things you need to understand about me before we get any further in our relationship here is I am irreverent, I swear, and I will smoke my vape on camera, and I don't want to hear anything about any of it because you have been forewarned. If this makes you uncomfortable in any way whatsoever, just take your happy ass someplace else because this is my show and I'm going to do what I want to do, and this is what I do. All right. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. To the Alchemist in reverse. So, Spirit... And the chariot in reverse, which is a blockage. So, Spirit, tell me about these two things right here. What is this about exactly? The nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction, and the four of swords, coming to terms with something, bringing stability into your mindset. Tell me what the alchemist echoes to the ace of pentacles. I'm sorry. Tell me about the alchemist in reverse. Is this your potential? What is the alchemist in reverse, please, Spirit? What is the alchemist in reverse? The Seven of Cups in reverse. Fantasy, illusion, diversionary tactics. Perhaps you are involved in something that is taking you off course. Interesting. The Magician in reverse again to the Chariot, the Two of Pentacles, balancing things out in the star. What you're doing is not purposeful. Hmm. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. Protect yourself. The Page of Wands in reverse from aimlessly drifting. The Three of Wands. Have some foresight. Look into the future. Ships are coming in. Tell me about this, please. To the Five of Swords. But you're holding on to something that you don't want to let go of. Which brings us to the Prince of Cups. You are investing emotions in something. Queen of Wands in reverse. And the Page of Cups in reverse. Mm-hmm. you guys let's go back to the top and read it all the way through this is what's going on Taurus okay the ace of Pentacles in reverse you're trying to create something in your life um, that can't that's you're having a hard time creating okay the ace of Pentacles in the upright is about trying to create some kind of sense of well-being a new opportunity to create a sense of well-being the nine of cups Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction to the Four of Swords. It is time to take a step back and come to terms with something. What? The Ace of Cups. A, a new beginning in love. All right? So there is a new beginning in love of some sort happening in your life. 
could be career, could be romance. I really feel like this is a relationship, but nevertheless, okay? Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Can't get it off the ground. Can't get it off the ground. You want it in a bad way, though, with the Nine of Cups, right? This is your, your emotional fulfillment, okay? Very emotionally fulfilled by something. What is it? The Ace of Cups. Some kind of new emotional growth or some kind of, of, of new love to the Four of Swords. The cards say that you have to come to terms with some kind of grief and sorrow and pain that is about to unfold in this reading so you can get your mind in the right place and push forward um, with that Fourth Sword and the Page of Cups emotional growth, emotional maturity. What is it that uh, Taurus needs to create right here? The nine of swords and the three of pentacles. Yep. So what these cards right here say is what you are trying to create in your life in regards to a relationship, I think, okay, um, isn't going to go. It, it's not going to go. Okay. The Alchemist in reverse talks about an inability to manifest. Um, it also talks about your potential, an inability to manifest your potential. Why? Seven of Cups in reverse, because there is a diversionary tactics. What are the diversionary tactics? The magician in the upright. What it is you're trying to manifest in your life cannot be manifested in this situation with this person. It cannot be manifested. Look, the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, right? It can't be manifested. So whatever you are investing in, hoping for teamwork and collaboration, all trapped in your mind in fear and anxiety about it, page of cups trying to create something, you're going to have to come to terms real quick with your feelings about the situation because it just can't go forward. The chariot in reverse. Chariot in reverse says that you're not putting in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination to do what needs to be done, and therefore it can't take you forward. Hence the magician in reverse. There's an inability to manifest what it is that you want to manifest. What do you want to manifest? Emotional fulfillment of some sort. But there is a, you can't. Your potential can't be released, and you can't manifest what it is that you're trying to manifest. Two of Pentacles says, you keep trying, you keep trying. The star in reverse says, when are you going to come to the understanding that when something in your life hits a wall, when something in your life cannot go any further for whatever reason, when something hits that wall, it is not your path. The star is in understanding that there are higher powers out there that know the end game that we don't. And they're always constantly trying to poke us and prod us in that direction or poke us and prod us away from something that we have our mind set on. Okay? The star in reverse is being detached from your purpose, detached from your path. And that's what this is. You're putting in a lot of effort into something, but it's not your path. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is about protecting yourself. Why? Page of Wands in reverse. Protecting yourself because what it is you are trying to build in your life um, doesn't have participation from both sides. You are trying to build something with someone that is not willing to build back. Whether it's a job, a relationship, family, whatever. You're trying to create something of your own free will, out of your ego, because the Nine of Cups says its wish is fulfilled, right? So let's just say it's a relationship and you meet this person and it's all good, right? And you see all these good things about this person and you are pouring in all kinds of effort into the relationship, but the person isn't. But you want it so badly that you're willing to ignore everything in order to get what it is that you want. And that's the ego, right? When you hit a wall and something doesn't work, it's time to let it go. It's time to understand that it's not part of your purpose and it's not part of your path. No matter what it is in your life, 
particularly relationships. When you get to a point in a relationship and someone comes to you or you go to them and you're like, man, this really isn't working out for me. Instead of holding on with a white knuckle grip and let's get counseling and let's not split up for the kids and let's not do this and let's not do that. How about, wow, I guess this isn't my path. I suppose that the future that I had decided that this relationship was going to be is not my future. It's not my path. It's not the direction I'm supposed to be going because if it was, it wouldn't disintegrate. How about that? How about just saying thank you for the journey, namaste, and farewell? Solves a lot of problems. Three of Wands, have some foresight. Have some foresight for your future. Understand that spirit is trying to lead you on a path of your best and highest good. Spirit wants to bless you. They want your ships to come in, but they cannot divinely orchestrate the path of your life if your free will is being executed in something that the ego wants and the spiritual aspect of your life is telling you no, right? They're telling you no in this whole top row. No, this is not your path. This is not where you're supposed to be. This is not where you're supposed to go. We have better for you, five of swords, but you're holding on to something with a, with a white knuckle grip and you're not willing to let go of it. It's a win at all costs mentality. I want this emotional fulfillment. I want this new love and I am going to disregard everything that I know to be true inside of me your spiritual journey to have what it is that I want. You're off course, you're off path, and it's not purposeful for your life. What's going on? Well, the Prince of Cups, you keep pouring your feelings into a situation. You keep trying to create from an emotional perspective in this situation. You want so badly for this person to take your cup. Queen of Wands in reverse, but there is no reciprocation to the Page of Cups in reverse. They either don't want to emotionally create or they are incapable of emotionally creating. Okay? And a lot of people are. Death, ending, a change, a transformation. Um, Spirit says that this aspect of your life needs to stop. If you want to go in the direction of your best and highest good, and you want spirit to lead you in that direction, if you want to live your absolute best life and manifest what it is you truly want to manifest, which you're trying to do in this situation, but it's, uh, it's not real. It's a false, it's a false start. It's a distraction with the seven of cups in reverse, a distraction to you making good decisions about your future. Death, there will be an ending to this relationship. There will, whether you pull the trigger or they pull the trigger, there will be an ending to this relationship. And because of that, you get to choose whether this is going to be a transformation of your life and you say, thank you for the journey, namaste, or you stay all tied up for months and years with, oh my God, if only it shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's your choice, it's free will. If you wanna go in the direction that spirit's trying to lead you, you are gonna have a massive transformation from what you've learned about yourself in this situation. And if you don't, you're going to find yourself filled with anxiety and despair for a long good minute to come. Death is an ending, a purposeful ending, so you can transform into the next phase of your understanding. King of Swords comes on top of it. King of Swords is an absolute drop dead decision. And I think that you are going to be the one to pull this trigger. I think you are going to be the one to pull this trigger. Okay. Judgment. Well, first of all, let's go back to the King of Swords. See the truth of a situation. Crystal, crystal clear. See the truth of a situation. To judgment. Free will. Conscious, cognitive decision that is going to change the trajectory of your life if you will finally see that what you're trying to build cannot be built. 
Ten of Wands. Burden and struggle. To this Queen of Wands, again, it's the same Queen of Wands that's in reverse right here that is not reciprocating your emotional input into a situation. The Queen of Wands to the Three of Pentacles, right? You want teamwork and collaboration with this. You do. The High Priestess comes on top of it and Spirit says, listen, listen to what we're telling you. Listen to the direction that we're leading you. The world, this cycle of your life needs to be closed out and a new cycle of your, not, of your life needs to begin. To the Three of Wands, have some foresight for your future. This thing, whatever this is for you, is not your future. It's just not. It's not your future. Seven of Pentacles in the center of the reading. It's time to take a step back, reflect and assess. Look at your motivations, look at their motivations, look at what's happened so far and figure out how it is that you are going to begin to plan to change the way that you're doing things. The Emperor in reverse to the Six of Wands, because this is not conducive to your life or your future. The Emperor in reverse is someone that is out of control of their life. The Emperor consistently and constantly is in tune with what it is that they're manifesting. What am I manifesting? What is happening in my life and how did I manifest it? How do I need to tweak some things to possibly begin to manifest in a different direction? The emperor is constantly in touch with his intuition, constantly trying to feel his way through to his best and highest good. In the reverse, it's someone that's out of control of those faculties. To the Six of Wands. Wanting to push for victory, progress, and success in a situation that is not going to be successful. The Ace of Swords. You must see this truth. You must see this truth. Absolute mental clarity. What happens here? Well, the Three of Cups in reverse. Three of Cups in reverse is a third party situation. To temperance. This third party situation is going to temper you in this situation. This third party situation is going to give you the ability to step back and reevaluate. Hence, temperance in reverse, because you have been internally off balance in this relationship. And once and for all, look to the Ace of Swords. Once and for all, there is going to be some kind of situation or circumstance that happens in this relationship that involves a third party situation. This third party situation, it could be, it could be a job. Okay. And you're, maybe you, um, are, are a temp and somebody's on maternity leave, right? And they've taken extended maternity leave. So you've been at this job for six months. Now you got friends, you're comfortable, your surroundings are comfortable. You're really good at the job. And now this person wants to come back out of maternity leave and your job is now in jeopardy and you want it so bad that you're holding on to it with a white knuckle grip, but there's nothing that you can do about it. Third party situation, classic third party situation, lying, cheating, stealing of some sort. Maybe it's the interference of a mother or a mother-in-law or a father or a father-in-law or friends, right? But there's some kind of of external interference that brings you back into focus about what it is you were really trying to build in this situation. Temperance in reverse. It, it balances out the imbalance that you were, um, you're creating an imbalance in your life. And this third party situation brings you some kind of balance. Perhaps this third party situation is someone telling you, hey, guess what? This person's been lying to you this whole time. Hey, guess what? This, it, maybe it's some kind of information that, that you weren't privy to. Okay. To the Ace of Swords, whatever this is, you will see things crystal, crystal clear, crystal clear. 
the devil in reverse. And this information helps you to release your limiting beliefs and detach from toxicity. What's toxicity? This situation, because you're trying to build something with someone that is not building back. They're not interested in building what it is that you want to build. Okay. The devil in reverse, releasing your limiting beliefs to the five of pentacles, leaving something out in the cold to the moon and undergoing a very serious understanding of what it is that you know to be true in your heart and what it is that you know the, and what it is that your um, flesh and ego are trying to talk you out of. I got a damn fly distracting me here. Okay. So information comes in, third party situation, ace of swords, crystal clear, brings temperance to the situation. Now you begin to see clearly releasing limiting beliefs, leaving the situation out in the cold and the moon talking about the internal struggle, right? I know in my guts, the information that I have just, damn it. I know in my guts, this information is true, but I want this so badly that I'm, I'm not sure if I can leave it out in the cold or not. Wheel of Fortune in reverse says you need to come to terms in this moon energy because it is absolutely positively a blockage to your future, to the Ten of Swords in reverse. Based on the input or the information or the discovering of this third party situation, this whole situation is going to come to an inevitable ending. What's wrong? Well, the lovers, there is a relationship, some kind of a relationship, a significant relationship in your life, page of swords in reverse, that has turned out to be all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. Look at that to the queen of pentacles in reverse, and it causes upset in your sense of well-being. And you are also coming to terms with the fact that this person cannot contribute to your life in the way that you want them to, because it violates some kind of principle in your character, this information that's coming out. The four of swords in reverse, um, a lack of progress, right? You're realizing all talk, no action, undelivered promises in some kind of significant relationship that upsets your well-being. You're, you're beginning to understand that there cannot be peace and contentment. You cannot create the kind of life that you're trying to create from this. What is going on over here? Okay. What is happening? We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, and the world. So the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This is a massive turning point in your destiny. What does this do? It turns the star from the reverse into the upright, back on your path again. Right? Spirit says, if you will contain, control, and deal with this situation. Realize that it's not your path. It's not meant for your future. It was a stepping stone. Well, it can either be a stepping stone or a stumbling block for you, right? And the positive, a stepping stone, right? A massive stepping stone. The Wheel of Fortune says, now that you understand this, now that you've come to terms with this, now that you've tempered yourself in trying to create something that obviously can't be created, it's not in your best interest. And if you force it, it's out of the ego. And if you do anything out of the ego, it ultimately is a tower moment anyway. So why not just accept that this is not your destiny? This is not your future because the wheel of fortune says now that you do understand this, there is a turning point in your life and spirit can begin to divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. So what do we have here? We have the wheel of fortune, massive turning point massive turning point to the empress. Okay. The empress is uh, multiple messages here. The empress is you taking control, getting back in touch with your intuition, getting back in touch with your power of manifestation and realizing that this is not the direction that your path is supposed to go to the world, closing out a cycle and getting ready to begin a new cycle. This also talks to me about moving as well, physically moving somewhere. Okay possibly physically moving somewhere is in your best interest. Okay. The wheel of fortune is clarified by the lovers. Okay. The three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, and the eight of wands, movement, action, change, and the queen of swords being accountable 
for what it is that you're manifesting in your life because you're expending a bunch of energy and effort into something that is not in your best and highest good. You make a clear cut decision with the queen of swords to monitor what it is that you're manifesting in your life. Eight of wands, take some action movement. Again, that's a third card here of actually physically moving the three of pentacles, teamwork and collaboration and the lovers. What this tells me is possibly that the emotional fulfillment that you're trying to create in this relationship that isn't going to happen there is obviously something better for you. Your empress is not this person. Okay. The, uh, your empress is not this person. It's not, whether it's male or female or gender neutral, it's not your person. Okay. This empress tells me that you're taking control of your life. This Empress tells me that there is something much, much better for you when you snap back to your senses. What's the Empress created, clarified by? Oops, hold on. We're not finished over here. So the High Priestess, Spirit, trying to lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. In your intuition, in your guts, the lovers in reverse, you knew that this wasn't going to work in the first place, deep down inside. The King of Wands in reverse talks about um, a lack of success, um, not being able to attain or do what it is that you're trying to do in your life. To the Nine of Wands, resilience, persistence, fighting through this situation that is going to bring you some grief and some sorrow somehow, some way to the four of swords, coming to terms with the three of swords on the wall behind him, coming to terms with grief, sorrow, pain, rejection, um, separation, whatever it is, coming to terms with it in your mind, picking up the fourth sword and preparing to carry on because the empress all of the conflict, the internal conflict, the external conflict, the four of cups in reverse that you have been apathetic to pushing down and not paying attention to it because you want what you want so badly to the 10 of pentacles. Spirit says there is better for you. You will be able to manifest the kind of life that you want to create for yourself in your future, but you cannot do it in this situation. The world. It is time to bring closure. It is time to close this situation out of your life. Two of Pentacles in reverse because it keeps you off balance. And the Ace of Cups in reverse. Um, you cannot secure the kind of emotional fulfillment that you want in this situation. Hence the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You cannot build what it is you're trying to build. The Seven of Wands in reverse to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, feeling overwhelmed because you can't create. Ten of Cups in reverse, feeling overwhelmed because this relationship didn't work out for you. The Four of Cups in reverse, that's where apathy will get you. If you don't listen to your internal mechanisms, the first time that you have red flags and you just bury it down because you want something so badly, this is what happens. It blows up in your face. You have to pay attention to the steps that are being orchestrated in your life to lead you to your best and highest good. The Hierophant. Commitment. New commitment comes your way. And that is this moving right here. This is this movement, I should say, with the Wheel of Fortune and the world and the Empress. There is a new opportunity, a new, a new opportunity. And I think it's to move somehow, some way in some kind of direction. There is a new opportunity that presents itself that you are, that you are going to, or should commit to because it's in your best and highest good. The Knight of Wands, taking some kind of inspired action, the Knight of Swords, communication, the Two of Cups, some kind of unified relationship. So whether or not Spirit is saying, if you will go in the direction we're trying to lead you, there's so much better in your future and there is a significant relationship in your future and it's not this. Or this is saying it's time to move, like literally physically move, because there is some information that's coming into you that is going to present an offer or an ability to commit in a unified 
relationship, a reciprocal relationship of some sort. Perhaps it's a landlord. Perhaps you're looking for a place to live and you're not getting any luck and then boom, something comes up and it is in the nick of time and it changes the course of everything. Perhaps it is a love relationship in your future. And I feel both. I mean, this is a general reading. I have no idea what to assign this to. I have no context by which to go by. So it could be a variety of different things. The devil, an attachment that is a restriction to your growth, is you being hung up in your head in fear to the Ten of Swords about some kind of painful ending. The chariot in reverse says this is a blockage to your life. The longer you resist ending this situation up here, the longer you are not going to be able to step into your power and live the life that spirit wants you to live. A very good life, by the way, to strength. Look at yourself. Look at the things inside of you that keep you weak in this situation. You want this so bad bad you can't hardly stand yourself you want this but the other person isn't willing to participate on the level that you want to participate on it's a one-sided relationship it is i think your person is emotionally unavailable to create with you you need some strength why because there is some in now we're repeating right you need some strength why prince of swords because there's information coming into you king of cups in reverse that is going to make you emotionally volatile the Empress in reverse. This is a creative block. It's also this person that you're holding in such high regard that you want to create this future with that isn't, it just isn't. They're not going to participate. The Empress in reverse is a creative block. Why is it a creative block? Because spirit's not participating. This is not a divinely orchestrated or blessed relationship. This is a relationship that you are forcing through your own ego and spirit is not participating. To the Knight of Pentacles, perhaps this is a behavior pattern of yours. Perhaps this is something that um, you are, are pushing and pushing and pushing for all the time in every relationship. Maybe you just want a relationship so bad that you're willing to compromise. Knight of Pentacles is about long, steady, stable conservatism to the Page of Pentacles, manifestation, and the King of Cups. What this tells me is that you have been trying, or in the future will have been trying, to create a love relationship in your life. The tower comes in, what I say, everything that's created out of the ego ultimately ends in a tower. It does. The tower, there is implosion third party situation up there the three of swords grief and sorrow and pain that's why in the four of swords you have to come to terms with this the nine of pentacles you're going to find yourself single four of wands in reverse there's going to be an upset in your home life king of wands in reverse but your ego your ego three of wands in reverse has created obstacles to your own long-term goals justice in reverse it's an injustice in your life it's your lack of accountability for your journey and it is an injustice in your life that you are creating nobody else is creating it you are creating an injustice in your life you have created this situation by not paying attention to your intuition by not following your path by forcing something with your ego because you want it so badly ace of wands in reverse Nothing good to be had here. Princess of Cups in reverse. Can't create emotionally. Seven of Cups. What do I do now? What do I do now? The Six of Wands. I wanted victory, progress, and success so badly. Strength in reverse that I was willing to revert to and live in my weakness instead of my strength. Princess of Swords. Some communication. No, I think this Princess of Swords is the seedlings. The manifestation of seedlings in a new way of thinking. Because it's followed by the Four of Cups, right? Contemplation and reevaluation. Because in this Four of Cups, you think you got your shit handled, but you don't. Because the Fourth Cup, which is the number of stability, is offering you information that you are ignoring. What is that information? This whole reading. This is not in your best interest. Your person is not going to reciprocate. And on top of that, there is going to be some kind of interference that brings some very serious truth to you. 
contemplation, reevaluation, the moon struggling internally between that which you know to be true and that which the ego tries to talk you out of because the ego wants what it wants. Princess of Wands in reverse, aimlessly drifting, no, no goal to the King of Swords. It is time for you to understand and make a truthful decision, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, that this person cannot be your other side or your other half. The Nine of Swords, anxiety and despair. The Fool in reverse, foolish, foolishness, foolishness. Prince of Wands, it is foolish to continue to take action in this situation. Prince of Pentacles in reverse because you're only keeping yourself stuck. Judgment. You need to make a conscious cognitive decision, King of Pentacles in reverse, about the title that you hold in this relationship and about a lack of success and reward that this relationship is going to foster into your life. The Hermit in reverse, withdraw your energy. Ten of Swords in reverse, withdraw your energy and know that there is renewal and regeneration after this painful situation once you get back on track and start living in your spirituality instead of your ego. The High Priestess. Spirit will lead you. They're talking to you. They will lead you to the wheel of fortune. If you allow them, they will divinely orchestrate the steps of your path. Perhaps this divine orchestration of the steps of your path leads you to move somewhere. Perhaps this divine orchestration of your path leads you to the true empress in your life. Spirit's trying to speak to you with the high priestess. Pay attention to what they're saying signs and synchronicities, the feelings, the voice inside of you. That is your intuition, always pointing you in the direction of your best and highest good. To the Queen of Cups. See, the Queen of Cups is you pulling it together. The Queen of Cups is you being in a place of emotional peace, coming to terms with this whole situation and understanding that there's no reason to be grief-stricken, heartbroken, or in despair at all because it just simply isn't supposed to go forward. Look at the situation, see what you've learned about yourself, see how you can change your mode of operandum in the future, grow from this. That's the Queen of Cups. She's in touch with her emotions, she's in touch with her intuition, and she is in a place of emotional control and balance. And she is preparing to move forward three of swords in reverse and come to terms with some kind of grief and sorrow and pain. The tower in reverse. You can use this implosion to get back on track again. The tower in reverse is about a personal transformation from some kind of implosion in your life. What's the personal transformation? Wow, I'm never going to let my ego get in the way again. If it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't go right, if there's obstacles in the, ways, in, the, in the way, then I know this is not for me. That's what you're going to learn from this. Princess of Pentacles, carry on with your badass self, Taurus, and manifest in a different direction to the sun. Spirit will lead you to happiness, success, and vitality in your life. Eight of Cups, walk away from it. Hang it up, walk away from it, because the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups is in your future. What's the Ten of Cups and the Three of Cups? Well, it's the Wheel of Fortune in the world and the Empress. That's in your future. In your future, you are going to be able to create the kind of emotional fulfillment that you're trying to create in this relationship that isn't going to fly. In your future, you will be able to create the Ten of Cups by meeting in the Three of Cups whom it is that is truly supposed to walk your journey with you. Eight of Wands. Movement, action, change. Quickly, it will change if you will just understand that you have to institute some change. Eight of Pentacles in reverse talks about perfectionism, right? You wanted it to be a certain way but it's not going to be. The hangman in reverse. The longer you resist this understanding, the longer you will cause stalling and delays to your future. The nine of wands. Again, resilience, persistence, fighting through, spiritual strength, ace of cups, because this new love, this emotional creation that you're trying to, five of swords, hold on to with a white knuckle grip, two of wands cannot be taken into your future. The star. Get back on the path. Get back into your understanding of what spirit needs you to do and be in your life.
get back into the understanding that if you will follow, they will lead you. And they will always lead you in the direction of your best and highest good. It might not always feel like it, but what kind of deal would it be if the universe said, if you follow your intuition, if you're conscious of what you're manifesting in your life, if you manifest high vibrational instead of low vibrational, if you will employ spiritual concepts to your life, we will always point you in the direction of your best and highest good. And then you do and they don't. It's not the way it works. It's just not the way it works. Spirit wants to lead you. They want to show you you're valuable to this lifetime and to this planet. And if you will step into your power and understand that you can create any kind of reality that you want to create for yourself by thinking it into existence, well, you have to actually do something to make it come into existence. Like down here, if you're looking for a place, right? You can't just sit in a bad relationship in a bad situation and say, God, I wish I could move. I wish I could move. I wish I could move. Universe, please let me move. No, you got to get on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or Zillow or whatever the thing is. And you have to start looking. You have to start manifesting a place to go straight up. Manifestation just doesn't happen from thinking about it. Manifestation happens from actually applying it to your life. The star says, if you will follow, we will lead you. We know the end game that you don't. And this is not it. Fuck off, fly. This is not it. This is not your end game. It's a stepping stone or your stumbling block. So Taurus, Whatever you're doing, whatever this relationship is, however it is that this is shaken down for you. If you want some more information, you can hit me up at thegypsypsychic.com. We'll read your cards and get to the nitty gritty of your own personal situation. But as far as a general reading goes, the relationship that you're putting in all kinds of effort into, whether it's work, family, romance, whatever, the relationship that you are emotionally investing in is not going to pay off. And there is some interference that's going to occur that's going to give you the right perspective, whether it's someone coming in from the outside and giving you information that you weren't privy to, or this relationship goes in a bad direction and there actually is a third party situation from the other side. There is going to give, it's going to give you clarity and understanding. And that's where your leaping point is. You're going to step off the edge of the ego and into the spiritual understanding of what your journey is. All right, Taurus, I hope that helps someone somewhere, somehow. Namaste.